Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics, Musimathics, Music Theory Basics. In this video, I'll be going over intervals, different types of chords and scales, and the circle of fifths. Intervals are fancy ways of talking about the distance between musical notes. There are four different types of intervals. Major, minor, diminished, and augmented. For example, we might say we have a major third or a minor second. It's not important that you remember the number of half steps that make up each interval, rather just remember that when you say these words, they refer to the distance between notes. Also, just as a side note, when we say perfect fourth and perfect fifth, instead of major fourth or major fifth, but they mean the same thing. Chords are sets of notes with certain intervals between them. Triads are chords with three notes, and they can be minor, major, diminished, or augmented. These are called qualities of the triads. For example, a D major chord has three notes, D, F sharp, and A. To make it minor, we just lower the third, the F sharp, by one half step, to an F. To make it diminished, we lower the fifth, the A, by one half step to an A flat. To make an augmented chord, we start with a major chord and raise the fifth, the A, by one half step to an A sharp. In addition to triads, we also have seventh chords. These essentially follow the same rules as triads, just with an extra note, a seventh added above the fifth. When we talk about seventh chords, we classify the quality of the triad and then the quality of the seventh. The seventh chord you're probably most familiar with is the dominant seventh, which is a major triad with a minor third stacked on top for the seventh. In addition to the dominant seventh, we also have the major seventh, diminished seventh, and half diminished seventh. Scales are just sets of notes with specific interval orderings. There are lots of different types of scales, but you're probably most familiar with the concept of major and minor scales. This here that I'm drawing is a C major scale. The series of intervals comprising the major scale is as follows. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, where a whole step is two half steps. The series of intervals comprising the natural minor scale is as follows. Whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. These interval orderings are what give major and minor scales their distinctive sounds. There are 11 distinct major scales and 33 distinct minor scales. That's because there are three different types of minor scales. Natural, harmonic, and melodic. They each have a distinct sound and feel. A a major scale's relative minor starts on the sixth scale degree of the major scale. For example, here we have a D major scale that I'm drawing, and as you can see, the sixth scale degree is B, so the relative minor of D is going to be B, so we have B minor. The circle of fifths a way of organizing the different key signatures that makes it easier to remember what key signature goes with which scale. We start with C, which has no sharps or flats, and then go up by perfect fifths to fill in the keys on the slots of the circle. First to G, then D, A, and so on and so forth. We fill in the entire circle like this. Then we can work on the key signatures. G has one sharp, D has two sharps, and so on. Once we get to the bottom of the circle, however, there are so many sharps that we start using flats instead. It helps keep things simple. We can start back at C and start adding flats just like we did with the sharps. F has one flat, B flat has two flats, and so on. And as you'll note, as we're going down the left side of the circle, we're going uh, down a fifth instead of up a fifth. And usually, I should say, this may seem complicated, so musicians usually memorize a circle of fifths so that we don't have to count out sharps and flats on a case-by-case -case basis, because that would be a big pain. So it's very helpful for us to be able to memorize a circle of fifths. That's just my tip to you. That's all for this video. To see the next video in the Musimathics series or visit centerofmath.org, you can click right here on the blackboard. Thank you for watching.